Uh, my name is Meg and I'm a Level 4 TV film and theatre student. I'm also the activities officer on the student union. Um, and my name is Lisa McClellan. I'm on costume interpretation with design and I'm the vice president of student union. My experience with other unis is obviously I went to a couple of open days but I actually went to a uni down in London for three months um, and kind of Christmas 2021 I decided it wasn't for me um, so I came back to the northeast just the course wasn't as practical as I would have liked um, and it was a very academic based uni as well as I didn't really settle into kind of the big city life so when I came here and look around I just got a much more kind of friendly um, just kind of more kind of chilled out comfortable vibe and obviously being a specialised art college it was very you know we've got all the equipment and it was all very focused on the arts and to be kind of surrounded by other creative individuals it had just a really nice feel about it for me um, and I kind of didn't realise until I came here that that's what I wanted and I wanted a more practical course which this uni definitely provides. Yeah, I think it was quite similar for me as well. Um, I went to quite a lot of open days off the costume and the cover production and I felt like the issue was that it wasn't community focused. There was no kind of integration between the courses. Whereas when I've come here, there's this real community feel in which that each course has its own like faculty. Everyone has their own tutors and teachers and there is like high end like machines and products that we can use and have access to at all times, which you just wouldn't get at another university. So the way it works with kind of contact time with lecturers, obviously you have your lecture for your timetable sessions, but during your time, you know, the self-practice time, they're always around. So if you need them, you can just go hunt them down or find them or email, drop them a Teams message. There's always people to contact and there's not just your lecturers on the course to rely on there's actually there's like technicians um most courses have a specialized technician uh, who can help you out with any of the technical stuff or the equipment facilities that you want to use also there's a wide range of facilities in terms of this tv studio there's like the photography studio that we're in now there's the costume department um the Scott building, which has got this warehouse full of amazing sets that the production design students have made. And as a student here, you're free to kind of use any space that you want at any time. Obviously providing that like no one else is using it. So you don't, you're not just confined within your course, within what your course provides. If you want to be, you, you know, they really encourage us to collaborate with other courses and other students to work professionally really as like creative professionals, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I say, it's quite similar. We've, I've got a wide range of facilities to use. You know, I've got my own costume building where we've got like the sewing studio and we've got the archives so we can find references like in person, which is something I haven't seen at any other different universities. Um, so I've got that, but then as you say, you can still work with the other departments. So I can have the actors model for me. We use the photography department to get like proper professional shots for our portfolio um, come to the textiles department quite a lot for fabrics and kind of print work and those sort of things so it's that sort of place where if you've got an issue that needs solving or a role that needs filling there will be someone mm -hmm. here to do it for you or help you with it the size of the uni means that you can have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with tutors that you yeah. definitely wouldn't get at other universities um, academic support wise, especially when we're writing our essays, we usually, most courses have to do just one essay um, a year, which is nice, yeah. obviously, <laughs> a lot of creative people don't necessarily like writing. There's a lot of workshops that the school offer as well yeah. as um, the lecturers came around when we did our essay and it was like anyone who wants to sign up for academic help, like essay mm -hmm. writing help, you could do that. So yeah. that's obviously an option to for that kind of side of things and just general kind of talking to your lecturers, it, you just get a really kind of friendly feel about it. You just, it's like, you don't feel kind of scared to ask them if you don't know how to do anything. You know that they'll help you and that they'll be, you know, yeah. pleased to show you work they've done in the past. Because another nice thing about the lecturers here and the technicians and stuff is that they have a lot of experience in the industry that, you know, is that's your course and that you might want to go in um, 
and that's what the university likes to have, like they sometimes allow them to have time to keep practicing that so they can come to their students with real life experience and real life knowledge that they're always happy to share. So, yeah. um, As I say, it's quite similar in my course as well. Um, I think one of the nice things that you don't get at big universities or even other university I've been to, every single teacher and like student knows your name, they know who you are, yeah. they know what you're doing, yeah, how your projects do. are, mm -hmm. like they don't have to check a system, have a number, it is like they know us for who we actually yeah, are. Yeah, they know you as an individual, totally. Yeah. Um, so because of that, like when your teachers are with you, they know what help you need because they've got that kind of personal relationship with you that is so unique to the university, I'd say. Um, with that, you get a lot of like one-on-one -on -one help with certain things you struggle with. So in costume, we have a lot of different um, kind of help in either drawing, if you're struggling with design, um, actual sewing skills, um, if you like need a model or anything, they'll help source one. Anything like that, they're ready to help you on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that is completely unique to the university, is that each part of your course is attended to. Um, so a typical day for me is usually we're in like three days a week with lectures. The rest of the time we're expected to work in our own time and we can make use of the equipment and the facilities obviously to do with our projects. But there is also time to kind of explore things outside your course. For example, like I really wanted to get involved with the student union, which I have been and we've kind of planned lots of activities and different little things like that, which has been nice. Um, but yeah. Start the day, we'll just go to your lectures. You'll At the start of my course, it was very kind of heavy with getting us introduced to the equipment and telling us about what to expect on the course before we were given our first brief. And after that, we learn, um, you know, we learn the tech with like specialized lectures and stuff, you know how to use it. And then we kind of have time to ourselves to complete the projects. I mean, it's different for me, but also quite similar. Um, so day in the life, usually I wake up about eight and get into uni for nine or 10, depending on the day. Um, and for me, we have kind of workshops in the morning or we have um, a lecture, depending on the course that we're doing at the time. And between that, you know, we learn new techniques. And then after lunch, we have our time to just work on them, like actually, kind of get our hands in there and do the actual physical work, learn new techniques, like something brand new every single week. Um, as I say, I'm in four days a week rather than three, but I have some half days. And uh, But even on the days off, I still come in and I still kind of catch up on work or even just work on my other projects. As I say, I'm in student union as well, so we quite frequently have activities to organise and I do the newsletter and there's a lot of things to just kind of like dip in and out of and try something new like there's a lot of clubs on mm -hmm. live drawing and um, all sorts really so for support such as like mental health there is michelle at student services who you can go to she can help with anything you are concerned about with or without uni and um, that being kind of if you're struggling with kind of issues at home or just how you feel like your mood your mental health issues and we're in touch with like a bunch of different charities as well um who can help out with that and give you the support that you need even through the holiday period where you know not everyone does go home so or if even if you do go home you can arrange kind of a, t a virtual meeting or a telephone call because the school doesn't want people to kind of feel like they're just abandoned through the summer because we exactly. do have a long summer. I think for me, I've found a lot of support. As we say, Michelle, she offers a lot of different kind of personal help. So there's financial support through um, student services. Um, there's counselling even available for students who suffer with mental health issues. That's been a real help. Um, budgeting as well. Um, they've got like sort of one-on-one, -on -one, being able to talk, oh, I have financial troubles. How can you help us? And the uni does offer complete support. Um, with the LGBT community, uh, we have that sort of kind of percentage wise, the uni does have this community that is noticeable and you can talk to other people with your sort of issues that you thought on you're struggling with. There's kind of um, 
peer support that's now being offered through student union. Um, so some trans pupils, um, queer pupils, they can help each other with issues they're having with either dysphoria or just even like coming out or things like that. And that's available through the university. There's also an LGBT officer within our student union and they offer kind of social like aspects that people from all walks of life can join in and kind of have that sense of community that maybe you didn't have back home. Mm -hmm. And that's what's nice about the university. Just adding to that as well, the kind of at this uni, you are totally free to be who you are. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, 100%. It, that's just a nice thing and being such a, a creative environment. Nobody's judgmental. No. There's no kind of standard. There's no, there's nothing. You can just be who you are, find your group of people and you'll often find that everyone is everyone has similar interests to you yeah. which is really nice and everyone's so individual and unique and god i've met like some amazing people yeah just being here for the few like this year mm. even um there's so many different talented people as well who are just you it's just very comfortable yeah uh, it's, it is it's definitely exactly that. yeah uh-huh so i live in the crown halls accommodation um which works that there's three floors two buildings and seven rooms on each floor and I will say, hands down, I've been to a lot of uni accommodations. I have a twin brother who's studying in Leeds. Um, my room in the Crown Hall's accommodation is probably twice the size as any other accommodation I've ever seen. You have so much free space to work with. Like I know people who have drum kits and like organs and I have my <laughs> sewing machine and mannequins and things. Like there's a lot of space for you to actually do with what you want rather than the sort of cupboards that you're so used to seeing as in accommodation. Um, but accommodation for me worked out really well. I got along with not just the people on my floor, but people in both buildings and as well as in the other accommodation, Titan House and Tower House. Um, so it kind of becomes this community because you share a kitchen where I am and we kind of all have our own little rules to like make sure that we're all comfortable living with each other. Um, it works really well because you have this sort of little community of these people who, you know, some of these people have never lived by themselves before and you can kind of help each other out. Like even not knowing how to make pasta, people can show you how or anything like that. There is that sort of community where you can live with each other and actually live with each other rather than just ignore each other on the halls, which I've seen in many ac different <laughs> accommodations. It's definitely affordable. It's so much cheaper than any other accommodation. Like my loan covers it and I know basically the majority of people's yeah. loans covers it. Um, and even like leaves you a bit of room for spare. Like coming from a city where I do, I'm so used to seeing these massive prices. And even with the cost of living, with prices going up, it's still completely affordable. And even if you move on to your second year, the university gives you contacts of um, estate agents and like companies that do second year housing. And that's just as affordable as first year. Yeah. I would say with second year housing as well, because obviously like I live in private accommodation where, and a lot of my friends live in kind of other private accommodation, but it is for students. Yeah. So there are a lot more options than you might first think, like coming here and kind of, I know people can get often get stressed about having to think about second, third year accommodation in yeah. their first term, but uni does like obviously help you with that. Yeah. And there are quite a lot of options available in like, nice areas the uni will point you in the right direction as well as students that you'll meet and talk to um my flat at the marina it's because i flat share so it's super affordable i think i roughly pay bills included 300 pound a month um but obviously i share and it, you know that's kind of a good deal but what you will get is like nothing said like you couldn't get that or anywhere near that do you know mm. what i mean it's um it is it's not a concern for me, it never was a concern yeah. about the cost of living, especially with the student loan that you get. It will cover it um, in most cases. And same with kind of shops and supermarkets. Like yeah. there's a there's a like a wide variety as well. You've got like you've got like every single supermarket. Literally, literally every su single supermarket in a small area. Yeah. Um, same with like the cinemas and restaurants and Nando's and these yeah. kind of like obviously uh, chains and stuff chains, and yeah. fast food chains. There are a surprising amount in like a close vicinity. Yeah. Which is handy. It is handy, yeah. yeah, and it's not far from the uni as well. It's like a five minute walk. So yeah, you're always, yeah, totally. So even though it is a, you know, like a, a smaller town, you've still got 
like everything that you would ever need. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So like the area itself is by the sea, which is obviously really nice. And I live by the marina, uh, which is a lovely little location, especially when it's sunny. It's got a, like bars, cafes, all sorts of things. And um, there's a train station in Hartlepool, which makes it really easy to get to places like Newcastle, like jump on the train, 50 minutes, you're in Newcastle. Same with Durham uh, and London, the train goes right down to London. So I think having the train station there is obviously really like a big benefit and it's a two minute walk from the uni. With the kind of area around the uni, there's at the minute especially, there's a lot of nice little pubs popping up uh, there's, that we've kind of discovered and you find, you know, you find your people that you can go with. Mm. So it's not a big city if you're expecting kind of big city like clubs open yeah. all the it's, time. Yeah. It's not that kind of town but there's something nice about it where it does feel more of a like a community, like a seaside kind of community, um, which can be nice, especially if you've come from a city, like I know yeah. you have. Yeah, well, as you say, I come from a city, so when I was coming to Hartlepool, I really didn't know what to expect. I'd only been here like twice before moving, but I live in the student accommodation, which is kind of literally around the corner from the uni. And what I found is because the university is so central, like it's literally, the campus is a, a street away basically. It's this kind of like little community right there. So you've got all the small businesses surrounding, you know, they know you from the uni, so they're always there for you and have a help in hand. If you go there for lunch or like the bars mm -hmm. are local, they're really um, quite sweet to go to. And prices are so good coming from a city. <laughs> I can't beat Hartlepool prices. Um, so I find that like the location is quite perfect. As you said, the train station is really close to my accommodation and really close to university. I was gonna say, do you get the train home? Yeah, I go to train. I, I'm tra always traveling on the weekends yeah. and I've been seeing friends that I went to high school with who go to different universities up in the north. And then um, I go home quite often and the train is so easy to do. And it's right next to the university. So it's very accessible, even if you get a bit homesick it's easy to kind of work your way around as coaches um, and as you say we're close to big cities like Newcastle um, and that's literally so easy even Middlesbrough that's 20 minutes on the train and that's can be caught like every hour or something like yeah. that I would, the train prices are super reasonable as well especially if you hit them at the right time and yeah. if you get a rail, rail card, card off, yeah. yeah get a rail card <laughs> I still have an existing job that I had before here, but there are, I know a lot of people and my partner works at the Hartlepool Museum where the um, Trinkamalee ship is. Mm. So he got that opportunity through university actually. The uni emailed out, um, I think a bunch of different companies got in touch with the uni because they were hiring. So he then saw the email and got in touch with uh, the museum and now works there through the summer. So it's nice because they've kept him on as on a summer contract from April to kind of October time really. Uh, so it's a nice layover obviously for students who are staying back or live locally. Also, there's quite a few people who work at local bars. Yeah. Um, and like I said, there are quite a lot of new nice bars popping up at the minute because I think companies and small businesses are realizing that there is a little market here yeah. with the TV studios moving here with the students and everything, which is starting to create a really nice little creative hub. And obviously students being at the forefront of them, you know, businesses are very keen to kind of get hold of students here. So I definitely think there are quite a few opportunities for part-time jobs as well as work experience. I've got a lot of friends who work in the local bars, restaurants. Um, personally, I still work back home, so I don't work within the city, but I do volunteer and help out within the unit. So I'm an ambassador, so I help out on the open days and on like events. And that way I can still kind of feel productive as well as get paid for some things. So it's really helpful that the university does mm -hmm. offer that sort of support without you know, kind of leaving us to yeah. hustle on our own. Uh -huh. I think a good thing about the uni with the, the scale of it as well, like we're quite small size. So when businesses get in touch for work experience and things like that, you haven't got a mass amount like you would down London. Like I had down London, this massive pool of creative talent all fighting for the same thing. Yeah. Um, you can really kind of get your foot in the door first. And there's been quite a few times where 
I've just popped over at the TV studios to see the manager there or uh, at the biz, which is this kind of offices for creative businesses and got a few contacts there and they are wanting promotional stuff done as well as bars around the area. Yeah. Uh, it's really kind of easy to network and chat to people and find these opportunities and opening doors. It feels um, like a much more relaxed environment to be able to do that. Mm. For me, anyway. So yeah, yeah, no, I completely agree. As you say, it's a lot of kind of working with what you got. People will come out and speak to you just at the bars and like kind of ask, "Oh, could you help me with this, this, and this?" And it, there are all those sort of opportunities within the yeah, yeah. Everyone's always looking for eyes. Um, so I actually went to every freshers event. I was really trying to get a lay of the land. Um, so I found it was really nice because it was student led. So I kind of like met some of the student union from last year's and currently this year's as well. Mm. So it was nice to kind of get a vibe of like what the actual students within the university are like. Um, as well as that, it was kind of perfect to kind of lay out a map in your head because it kind of spanned from the town centre on Church Street to the marina. So I got a like which pubs I liked, which pubs I didn't really like and like what sort of bars and restaurants even that were nice and you can kind of like find that all through freshers whilst in a real safe like environment because you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are in the exact same situation as you um, and as well as that you kind of got used to the student union bar and like just a building that I wouldn't go into because I'm mm -hmm. in the costume building so it was kind of fun to see the different areas within the university but then I think freshers was good because it was so kind of specialty made that it blended straight into your instruction week. So I felt that I had something going on during the day, kind of getting to know my course. Because for me, it was, as you say, working on kind of getting to know the equipment, getting used to the sewing machines, getting to use, like not getting lost in the building, mm -hmm. um, kind of meeting the class, meeting the other students. And then on the night, me and the people who'd met that day, went to the freshers' events, like, managed to socialise, so it was nice. I think if you're worried about cost of living, obviously, go to the university, go to the school, they are, like, more than willing to help. There's a bunch of bursaries that are available. A couple of my friends have them. Um, as well as, kind of, advice and guidance on how to budget, uh, where to shop, how to, maybe, if you're living in, like, a community space, how yeah. to, kind of, live you know, more affordably together. Maybe you can share shopping and things like that. Mm -hmm. So there is definitely a lot of advice <clears throat> given out from the school. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, I think the university has been really great with kind of helping with financial issues, with the cost of living crisis. Everyone got stressed and kind of freaked out um, thinking about like, oh, how am I going to cover rent? How am I going to cover costs? But the uni is very upfront with it. Um, there's been budgeting kind of workshops um, teaching like what sort of things you should be buying at supermarkets, like how to kind of avoid unexpected costs, um, using student discount, mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. handy, 100%. Once you just have your badge on you, you get student discount, it's brilliant. Um, but as well as that, like as you said, those bursaries are available for certain circumstances. Yeah. And even DSAs, if you think you can like get one, apply, because there's a lot of my friends who have never in their life thought they'd be able to get a DSA and immediately got one with the help of the uni. I would say if you're struggling to make a decision, if you want to do a practical creative course, this is the uni for you. Especially within the North, like there is nothing like it. No. And the kind of environment, the location, the affordability of it, all the factors kind of combined even though it's not a well-known town and it's not a well-known uni, so you might be worried about the kind of career opportunities and jobs prospects, you've got to be here to really see it and really see the, the opportunities. You've got just a chance, good of chance of making it here as you do anywhere in the creative arts, especially. Yeah. So I would definitely, if you want a practical creative experience, this is, yeah, this is the uni. Yeah, I completely agree. As I say, my advice would be if you have in your head a vision of like the life and industry you want to be in this would be the university for you i've never had sort of more opportunities kind of displayed in front of me than coming here there's 
so many links that you just wouldn't get anywhere else. There's so many people who are willing yeah. to help you so that you have a full professional portfolio by the time you've left the university.